Department shocked at traffic officer's death and President Obama calls for an end to the fighting in Sudan. With the news at 11 o'clock, good morning, I'm Karabo Malazi. The Gauteng Community Safety Department has voiced its shock and horror at the news that one of its traffic officers has been shot and killed, allegedly by a minibus taxi driver. The incident took place late yesterday at Hillbrow. A group of officers stopped an unroadworthy taxi from operating. The officers were about to drive off when the taxi driver allegedly pulled out a gun and began firing at the back of the vehicle. The 31-year-old traffic officer in the back seat was fatally wounded. The department spoke Spokesperson Tapelo Muilo. MEC Mazibugo has learned with shock of the brutal, gruesome, and cold blooded murder of a Houghton traffic office. We cannot allow anarchy to prevail in the taxi industry because the killing of one law enforcement officer is one too many and it is seen in the light of an attack to the state. One woman has died and 40 others injured after a bus overturned just after the Pumulani toll plaza on the N1 North in Pretoria this morning. Netcare 911 spokesperson Jeffrey Wick says a 13-year-old was taken away by helicopter after being trapped in the wreckage. The cause of the accident has not yet been established. Wick says the rest of the passengers are receiving treatment at various hospitals in the area. Paramedics arrived at the scene to find the bus on its side in the southbound carriageway. One 13-year-old boy was heavily entrapped in the wreckage and had to be cut free by firefighters and paramedics using the jaws of life. The other injured were transported by ambulance to nearby hospitals. Northwest Premier Tandi Mudise, Finance MEC Louisa Mabe, together with Speaker of the Provincial Legislature and ANC Provincial Chairperson Supra Muhomapelo, are among the hundreds of mourners attending the funeral of Ivy Molefe at Uhudi Township in Freiburg. Molefe's body was found at a farm outside Mahikeng after missing for at least three weeks. The SABC's Dal Haidziwe reports. Scores of mourners, including ANC Women's League, Members of different society groups have converged to bid farewell to the late Ivy Molefem at AMB Church in Huhudi. During her speech, Premier Tandimu Dizem continued to discourage society, especially men, to refrain from killing and abuse of children and women. The late 50 year old Molefe, affectionately known as Ni, was last seen on the 14th of March and a decomposed body was found weeks later by the police near a farm in Birman's Drift. I'm Dal Khaitewe reporting for SABC Radio News, Uhudi in Freiburg. In other news, surfers and paddlers will this morning gather at Camps Bay Beach to pay tribute to shock attack victim David Lillianfight. The 20-year-old bodyboarder was attacked by a great white shark at Kuhul Bay near Gordons Bay on Thursday while surfing at the caves. His 18-year-old brother was with him at the time of the incident. Shark conservationists are demanding a response from Cape Town authorities following the fatal attack. The city and the Environmental Affairs Department both say there is no evidence to suggest that the tagging of white sharks by a company filming a documentary played any role in the attack. The permit to film has since been suspended. On the international front, American President Barack Obama has called for an end to the fighting between Sudan and South Sudan. A row has erupted between Sudan and South Sudan over the departure of South Sudanese forces from the disputed border region of Hejlij. Sudanese President Omar al-Bashar has praised Sudan's armed forces for expelling the South Sudanese troops. However, South Sudan says the troops are withdrawing as a sign of the country's commitment to peace. Obama says the presidents of both countries countries must have the courage to resolve their differences peacefully. It's easier to start wars than to end them. And yes, peace is hard. But the forces of history, which sometimes seem so large, are not beyond our control. Your future belongs to you. It is in your hands. You have the power, the choice, to say what comes next, whether your children will live in war or peace. The choice is yours, and now is the time to choose peace. And back home, former World 800 Meters champion Casta Semenya has booked her ticket to the London Olympics after she eased to victory in 1 minute 59.58 seconds at a Yellow Pages series meeting in Pretoria. 21-year-old Semenya underwent gender tests at the 2009 Berlin World Championships where she won the 800 meter gold medal. Semenya failed to reach the qualifying standard in last weekend's national championships in Port Elizabeth. Yesterday, she became the first 
first woman in 21 years to run under two minutes on South African soil. Semenya is now coached by former Olympic and three times world champion Maria Mutola.